Hey guys, what's up? It's been a few days since we've talked. It has been an extremely, extremely long weekend, and I'm going to try to tell you a little bit about what's been going on, things that have been happening. Uh, on, Well, I didn't have to work on Friday, so that was awesome. I had a bunch of extra time. I went ahead and worked on the Ubuntu video. I did a live stream in the middle of the day. You guys may or may not have seen it. If you did, thank you so much for showing up. I really would like to start doing that again uh, a little bit more often. Just I'm going to be shooting a video, so let's go ahead and turn on the camera. One good thing about that, it did give me an opportunity to use my blue eyeball microphone, eye, eyeball camera, whatever the last video I did was about. So that was great to get that uh, experience, that opportunity. So uh, I hope the guys that did see it, I hope you enjoy. Uh, in addition, this weekend, and I really wish that I'd done this on camera, but it took so long that it, it wouldn't have been feasible. Saturday. I was going to play Dungeons and Dragons Saturday evening. I do play every so often with some friends here uh, a little while, a little ways away from us. But anyway, since I knew I was going to be playing with them and I didn't really want to take my full-size laptop because it's 15 inch and it's kind of heavy, I, I thought I would take my CR48 since I hadn't been using it as much lately, just browsing the web here and there. And I thought I would try some of your guys' suggestions and put Ubuntu on it. And uh, it took... How long does it even take? I think it took 11 hours. Uh, well, I, somewhere less than 11 hours, but more than like 6. Because I started at about noon, and I left, I guess, at 5 to, to go to uh, Dungeons & Dragons, and it had not come anywhere close to completing. It was about a quarter of the way done then. Anyway, I came back home late in the evening, about 11.30 at night, to find... It wasn't exactly like this, but I, I've done a little bit of tweaking to it. I've removed some applications, I've, I've made some setting changes, um, all sorts of stuff like that. It's running beautifully, I've got to say. It's running just as well as my old netbook used to, except it's got a larger screen, makes it a little bit easier to use. I will put a link down below to the tutorial that I use. Basically, and uh, what I plan to do, there is a firmware called Luigi that's created by Hexa, the guy that's been doing all the Chrome OS builds, Chromium OS builds, whatever it is. Uh, Luigi does not work anymore. He decided that something was broken, it was not being able to restore correctly, so he stopped developing it. He put it all disabled. So I started to use that, found out it was completely disabled, had to improvise and come up with something else. The tutorial I found basically is a shell script that goes out to Google code and pulls down all of these binary files and uh, puts them all together and makes Ubuntu for you. So uh, I went to the site and uh, it, it basically just follows the step-by-step -step instructions from the Chromium project website, the, the project that tells you this is how you put Ubuntu on your CR48. It's a Google site. Google developers have created this, so there's no reason to get all, all huffy about it. I've had people... I'm talking really fast. Sorry. I've had people get huffy with me over the idea that I'm going to take this CR48 and get rid of, C of Chrome OS off of it. Well, the good thing about doing it this way, Chrome OS is still there, uh, and I found that out tonight. But I ran the install script, the Ubuntu install script. Uh, it took, like I said, a long time. Less than 11 hours, but more than 5 or 6. Uh, but when I came back, literally, I was sitting at an Ubuntu login screen. Or logged in already, actually. Uh, and it has been running admirably. I cannot complain. Uh, the one thing I could complain about is 3G is not working in it. But it wasn't working for me anyway, so no big loss there. Now the one thing that I really can complain about about it, and it's not a huge deal, uh, if you go back in and flip that developer mode switch back out of developer mode, it goes back into Chrome OS. That's awesome. You didn't lose any work. You didn't lose anything. You've just got to reset up Chrome OS. It takes about five minutes to wipe the stateful partition and get you back in, uh, and then you're in Chrome OS again. The problem with that, when you flip it back to developer mode, you'd think, oh, well, it'll just go back to Ubuntu, right? It didn't do that. It went back to developer mode of Chrome OS. Luckily, I remembered the steps basically from the uh, the Chrome or the Ubuntu installation process. So I went back to the, the blog that I'd found that had all the steps. I took the last step, which was the make Ubuntu the default boot option, and I ran that again from the terminal in developer mode. And boom, I'm back in Ubuntu. No problem. Just had to reboot again. So uh, yeah, again, I'll, I'll have a link to the uh, the install tutorial down in the uh, source code below. I'm very tempted to do a video showing it, but honestly, if it's going to take 10 or 11 hours to do it, uh, I don't necessarily want to do it again. The reason it took so long, Google code is throttled to 20k per second or lower, at least recently. So it just sat there and pulled hundreds and hundreds of megs of files down, 52 separate files, and uh, yeah, anyway.
once short long story short really long story short it's up it's working beautifully I can play videos on it uh, YouTube and flash and everything of course work just fine surprisingly enough because flash is not working terribly well on my desktop Hey guys, thought I would interject here for just a minute. This is the webcam on the CR48 that I'm testing out and the microphone on the CR48. Uh, it's not running as well as I thought it was going to run. Uh, the webcam itself is supposed to do 30 frames per second and I've seen it get as high as 30 frames per second. But it seems as soon as I give the webcam any lighting it drops down to about 14 and a half to 15 frames per second, which is not good. Anyway, this is a whole lot better than the results that I got previously when I uploaded directly to YouTube. So this is definitely a lot more viable option now that I've installed Ubuntu on it. Sorry, I'm not on a tripod or anything. I'm on a laptop. It's sitting on my knee. This is the way I can get the best lighting. So anyway, just wanted to show you how the webcam looks, how it works. It's got a little bit of ghosting, of course, because I'm at 15 frames a second now. Uh, if there is a way to make it work at 30 frames a second, definitely let me know. I tried my, uh, my blue eyeball webcam, didn't want to work. Anyway, just a quick interjection to show you the quality of some of the hardware, how it is a little bit better than you might anticipate. So uh, back to the vloggity vlog. Uh, but other than that, what else have I been doing? Yes, yes, yes. One other thing I wanted to mention, I've got my Droid X here, and somewhat, I, I saw it on a, a blog, I saw it on Android Live or on Android Central. I spent a lot of time on those sites. One of their Android picks of the week was this app. It's called Launcher 7. And don't worry, this is not my default. I just have it here to show you guys and to, to show to Windows Phone users because I think it's kind of amusing. It's running very smoothly. It's got some live tiles. You see the context tile there is live. And uh, I can put any app I want to on it just by swiping over to it. And in just a second, because it's I'm running two launchers right now, technically. It loads up my list of apps. I can add new ones to the launcher list. It is ad supported. Uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, there is a paid version available, I think. Either way, that's still alpha software, so use it at your own risk. It's running very nicely for me, just a little bit slow at times, especially in, on the first startup. Uh, but it's a very cool option if you like the Windows Phone 7 look and feel. But that's the majority of the stuff that I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about tonight. Uh, I had a bit of a long day this evening, today, whatever. Uh, someone came in the IRC channel, and I'm not going to really go into who, what, when, where, and why. Found out that my videos were being taken and uploaded to another website, and actually this person was one of the people doing it. And as a person who is profiting off of the videos that I'm creating, it was kind of a slap in the face to me for this person to essentially be saying, I'm taking your content and distributing it on the web for free because I don't like that Adobe Flash uh, steps on my freedoms, so I'm going to step on yours instead and steal your work. Uh, so if you, I don't even know how to say it, if, if you do think about doing this, think about the hours and hours of work I do spend working on this when I should be spending time with my family. Uh, and the, the uh, I guess, just think, think about the people at the end of the day. Because the only person that you're helping is yourself, the only person you're hurting is me. Yeah. Anyway, that's all for me from now. From me for now. Uh, I'm going to get back to working on the news video, and you will probably see this one before that or after that. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. Sorry this is a very long vlog. Uh, talk to you again very soon. Bye.